So we have a 22-year-old male. He has a seven-year history of calcium oxalate urolithiasis. Urolithiasis is just a broad umbrella term for uh, nephrolithiasis, which is kidney stones, and ureterolithiasis, ureteral stones. In addition to consumption of water, a pharmacologic agent is recommended to decrease recurrence of the stones. What's the MOA? Uh, the starting point is just knowing the factoid for the medical licensing exam that thiazide diuretics, such as HCTZ, they are the drug uh, commonly prescribed to decrease recurrence of calcium stones. Okay, so what's the MOA of thiazides? Uh, it, or they will inhibit a so sodium chloride symporter on the apical membrane of the early distal convoluted tubule. Okay, so prevent the reabsorption of sodium chloride going the same direction through that apical membrane. Apical means on the side of the urine. Uh, basal laterals on the side of the blood, so they inhibit a transporter on the apical membrane of the early DCT, sodium chloride symporter. We don't see that as an answer choice here, okay? So you're probably like, what the fuck? So we have to examine these answer choices as to which one could relate to thiazides, okay? Now, how do thiazides relate to calcium? You need to know that they promote the reabsorption of calcium in the early DCT. Okay, that's what they do. So you can make an argument and say, but yeah, that's not like the MOA per se of thiazides, is it? Like that's just an indirect uh, consequence of giving a thiazide. But that's not the MOA. I could arguably agree with that. However, uh, this is on the NBME for step one. So this isn't my opinion as to whether I, I like this or not. Um, this is asked on the NVMe for step one, where you get this type of question, and then the answer is that it promotes calcium reabsorption in the early distal convoluted tubule, okay? This is what thiazides do. Uh, the answer choice that's not correct promotes calcium reabsorption in the late distal convoluted tubule. Uh, that would refer to uh, parathyroid hormone, okay? So uh, parathyroid hormone activates uh, a calcium uh, channel on the apical membrane in the late DCT. So that could be the answer if we had a parathyroid hormone related question. Uh, looking at uh, choice A, decreases calcium absorption in the small bowel, just wrong. Uh, calcium absorption in the small bowel is mediated by 125 dihydroxy vitamin D3, the active form of D3. Of course, we have PTH uh, that will uh, activate 1 alpha hydroxylase in the PCT of the kidney and converting 25 to 125, and then that promotes the calcium absorption in the small bowel. Doesn't relate to thiazides, okay? Um, it should actually be noted, this is an, inter this is an interesting factoid piece of, slash piece of value for you as well. If they ask about dietary habits in patients who have calcium stones, do not decrease calcium intake, okay? That's really important. You say, but how does that make sense? Like, if you decrease calcium intake, why wouldn't that decrease your risk of calcium stones? It's because it's the oxalate absorption from the small bowel that actually is most significant in terms of uh, promoting stone development. So calcium will bind to oxalate in the lumen of the small bowel. If you decrease calcium intake, then there's less oxalate, or I should say there's less calcium binding to oxalate, therefore there's more oxalate available to be absorbed through the small bowel wall, okay? So do not decrease calcium intake. That's an important piece of value for you. Looking at choice B, decreases phosphate concentration in the distal convoluted tubule. That just doesn't have any relation here uh, whatsoever, okay? I just put that in as a distractor. Um, phosphate in relation to the kidney. PC, uh, sorry, uh, PTH, parathyroid hormone, will decrease phosphate reabsorption in the PCT of the kidney, okay? Uh, that's how phosphate could relate to the kidney, but nothing related to the DCT. We already talked about thiazides. They promote calcium uh, reabsorption in the early DCT. U.S. Simile really likes this piece of information as far as thiazides causing hypocalciuria, okay, and in turn can cause hyper calcemia. So hyperglouc, the mnemonic, G-L-U-C, hyperglouc, uh, that refers to our adverse effects of thiazides. So hyper-G being glycemia, hyperglycemia, L, lipidemia, 
U, uracemia, thiazides can cause gout, and C, calcemia. So thiazides can cause hypercalcemia uh, because they cause hypocalciuria, okay? Choice C, promotes stone dissolution via acidification, late DCT. Once again, I just was an asshole, put in something a little bit complicated because if you're not sure of the answer, then you choose something weird. Um, calcium oxalate stones are, are actually better dissolved with alkalinization of the urine. So you can give hydrochloric thiazide with uh, citrate, okay, which is a weak base, and that can promote the dissolution of stones, okay, weak alkalinization of the urine. Calcium phosphate stones form at a slightly higher pH. Uh, they can, uh, you can, or you can increase dissolution of those with acidification of the urine. And struvite stones caused by urease positive organisms, those are the ammonium, magnesium, phosphate stones, those large ram horn looking stones. Those are also dissolved with uh, acidification. You have to do surgery on those, but acidification will help with calcium phosphate stones and struvite stones, but alkalinization will help with um, calcium oxalate stones. So that's what's happening here, okay? So increased early DCT reabsorption of calcium uh, as an indirect mechanism of giving thiazides. And of course, our main mechanism of action of thiazides is inhibiting the sodium chloride symporter in the early DCT. Uh, not a hard question, okay? Like, it's all relative. I mean, if you're close to sitting a medical licensing exam or you're studying for step two, this type of question is actually like, quote unquote, too easy. You're like, come on, Michael, like, give me something more difficult here. Uh, but I mean, if you're like, if you're very much in the heart of your step one prep, you know, uh, then this is a solid question. And it's on, as I said, it's on the NBMEs for step one. Okay, that's it.